So let me show you how to find uh, something called the Q value. Um, and the good news is that you um, already know how to do the Q value. When you did uh, uh, alpha decay, you, just, you, you were finding the Q value for that. But the Q value is just the energy released by a reaction. So positive means it releases, right? That means it's exoergic. And a negative Q value is endoergic, means it takes energy, okay? So there's endo, exo means it gives off energy, endo means it requires energy, right? Um, so let's look at this one. Um, this is gold getting hit by an alpha particle, giving off deuterium and being transmuted into mercury, right? So here's what you do, is, is you take the left side and you add it up. And the left side is, you got to look this up. This is in Appendix B, right? So this is the alpha particle. You look that guy up, right? And then for uh, uh, for mercury, you look up mercury, and you look up uh, deuterium, right? And then the, then the thing we're going to do here is we're going to add up the entire left side here. So 196, don't round these, 0.966552. Plus four point zero zero two six zero three, and this side is two hundred point nine six nine one five five. It's hard to look at the calculator and calculate that. Okay, let me double check that I did type in the right thing, and indeed I did. Okay, and then the right side is one nine eight. Point nine six eight two six two plus two point zero one four one zero two. These all, by the way, have uncertainties. If you go to that uh, South Korean site, they give the uncertainties nine eight two three six three. Now it's quite evident here that we've gained mass. Yes. This thing is, has gained mass, therefore it's gained energy, so it's going to be an endoergic reaction, right? Now, to find the Q, you go left side minus the right side times 931.5. Okay. So this guy, the, uh, let's see, let's do, 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 do. Okay, store that in the left side. Okay, and then store that in the right side. And then I'm going to go uh, alpha A minus alpha B. And I get this actually ends up being a negative number, right? Left side minus right side. And then times 931.5. And I get that the Q equals negative 12.30. Let's see, yeah, that would actually have one, two, three, four sig figs because of this guy, okay, uh, MEV. Okay, uh, so what that means is that negative that much heat is given off. That means it required heat, therefore it's endoergic, okay. If this thing ends up being positive, that is you lose mass, right, the left side minus right side times this is a positive number, then, it, then it's exoergic. Remember, the, the question always is, where did the mass go? If it, where did the mass come from? Well, it came from energy. So if the right side has more mass, that more mass came from energy that we pumped in. And that energy would have to be the energy of this alpha particle. We would have to accelerate that thing through, what, 6.15 million electron volts to give it that much kinetic energy. Because remember, uh, um, an alpha particle is, what, two, two electron charges, right? It would have to have this much kinetic energy to make this reaction possible. Yay.